We have here two elements, the first div and the second one, when each element has some content. And if we refresh the page, you see here that it looks like a one element. I'll add the break line to differentiate between the two elements. Now we have two separate elements when the second one start in a new line. The element div by default is considered as a block element. And if we check a look here from the default style, if we check div here or here, we'll see display block by default. And I'm not writing CSS here, it's empty, but this is the defined CSS. By default, it uses display block, which will be considered as a block element. Okay, what we'll define an element to be a block element? So for that, we have begin in a new line. So in our case, we have two divs when each div is just displayed in a new line. If I keep adding divs here, I just add another one, we'll see that it goes to a new line. I just remove that. Block elements can also contain align elements and not the opposite. Align elements can't contain block elements. So we'll go through align elements in this lesson. So for the next one, block elements take 100% of the defined width. So in our case, this two div is just taking 100% of the browser. If I just remove developer tools, you'll see that it's taking 100% and each element go to a new line. If I wrap this two divs within a div when it specified the width, I'll go for style and with your 600 pixels, I'll wrap these two divs within this one, which is considered as a parent. Now it's just taking 600 pixels. If I just use 400 pixels, you'll see that it's taking 400 pixels. Use a line styling, style, border. I'll go for two pixels, solid red. Copy the style here. Just taking 100% of 400 pixels, which means that we have two elements. Each one has 400 pixels. If I decrease this 200 pixels, it's just taking 100% of the parent in this case, or 100% of the element of, of the document if you are not defining any width. And for the last one, the height, fit the height of the content, which means that it depends on how much content you have. So if I just keep adding content, let's just copy the same one and use it again. It will just take the height of the content within the block element. If you wanna have an idea on the element that are considered as block level elements. So we have all this here from this URL, remove that from this URL right here, address, aside, details, li. So all of these elements, they are considered as block level elements. By default, if we check them from Google Developer Tools, you will see that they use, let's just check div again. So they use display block. All of the rules that are already defined apply on them. Let's just add a paragraph, which is considered also as a block level element. And fake text here. If we take a look here, you see that I have a paragraph from the developer tools, the paragraph here, just defined that this is display block, which means that which means that this is a block level element. We have here a list of links, which they are considered as align elements. And these are some rules that you have to respect when you are using align element. An align element can't contain a block element, which means that if I add a div within this element, this kind of situation it is not allowed at all because this div if it's considered as a block element and if it's not allowed within an align element in our case a link let's just remove that unlike block elements that can start in a new line align elements can start anywhere in a line and if we take a look here they are at the same line the width and the height of an align element depend on the content for example if i add some content within this link you'll see that the width is changing okay let's just return home Save that. We can force this align element to be displayed as block element. For that, I'll use the A element and use display property. Then for the value I use block, then instead of having them, instead of having the element in a one line, the elements start on a new line. Same for the block elements. In our case, I use divs. So if I want to just force them to be aligned, I'll just select div here, then use display. And instead of block, which is the default one, I use align. Now the elements are aligned in the same line.